everyone and welcome back to the United Star. England have just played Scotland in a goalless draw. And before I bring Atanu here in with me, uh, I just want to say a couple of things straight off the bat. Uh, Gareth Southgate has as, as much brain and intelligence as much as a two-year-old kid would have. He has no clue about football and I think someone should really look into the fact whether he's actually completed his UEFA badges or not. I don't understand this guy. You've got Marcus Rashford, Jack Grealish, Jaden Sancho on the bench. You watch that first half. It's absolutely disgraceful. It's absolutely disgusting. You refuse to make a change at 45 minutes. You refuse to make a change till almost 65 minutes. And this man left his brain back wherever he came from in the under-21s. He does not understand football. And then he makes the absolutely mind-boggling decision of taking off the best striker in the world when you need a goal in Harry Kane and brings on Marcus Rashford. I mean, does he understand the fact that Marcus Rashford is not a striker? I don't think so. Does he understand the fact that Raheem Sterling was having probably the worst game Raheem Sterling has had in, in I don't know how long, and Raheem Sterling has had bad game after bad game this season, and yet he played 90 minutes. One sub was left and Jaden Sancho and Dominic Calvert-Lewin were yet on the bench, but this clown, this joke of a manager does not think to bring these people on. You know, just think of it. Jaden Sancho, Marcus Rashford, Jack Grealish, Phil Foden, Harry Kane. This is your attacking firepower and you can't get a goal against Scotland who have David Marshall as their keeper. They have another defender who plays for Derby County. They have another player who plays in the championship and you can't get a goal against Scotland. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? How stupid is Gareth Southgate? And... Imagine a Spanish team where David Silva and Iniesta are together and the manager decides, oh, you know what? They can't play together because they do the same thing. That's how idiotic it is to not play Jack Grealish and Phil Foden in the same team. Atanu, I mean, go ahead. Yeah, he's absolutely, you know, bottled it here. Fans say England's winning it and, you know, football's coming home. But as long as Gareth Southgate is the manager, I don't think football's coming home. And it was it is with a very heavy heart that I say this. I don't think he's competent enough to lead this squad. I mean, Why look do at you the say players. With a heavy heart. He's an absolute idiot. No, I'm an England fan. Na. <laughs> I'll have to say it with a heavy heart. Uh, I think, I think you uh, said it right. You have the likes of Jaden Sancho, Marcus Rashford, Jack Grealish, Ben Chilwell, Jude Bellingham. So many good players on the bench. And I think I'm uh, I'm missing someone. I don't know. Uh, I mean, how can you not start Jack Grealish in this team? How is Raheem Sterling starting? Raheem Sterling has had a very poor season. Even Jesse Lingard has had a better season than Raheem Sterling and he's not in the Euro squad. I don't know how Raheem Sterling is, is starting over the likes of Marcus Rashford and Jack Grealish. I mean, and I mean, why is Atalu, there... You know what? Let's, look, let's talk about some tactics, okay? Yes, Gareth Southgate is an idiot, but he's also a, an idiot who does not know how to set up a team. Scotland had a tactic. They had a shape. They had organization. What was England's tactic? Pass it to Tyron Mings I mean, and Tyron Mings will kick it if, forward? If, if you look at it, why are we starting a double pivot against Scotland? Why are we starting a double pivot against Scotland? Why are Calvin Phillips and Declan no, Rice playing Adanu, together? Can you imagine having a double pivot and yet when you play out from the back, one of those players has nobody around him to pass the ball to? There is literally, there is the defence, then there is Rice, and then or Phillips, and then there's an acre of space. There's more space there than the space between Scotland and fucking England. There's more space in that gap over there. There's nobody there. Harry Kane is dropping back, passing the ball to Sterling, and then Sterling doesn't know what to do. Harry Kane is crossing the ball for Reese James to take a shot. I mean, no organisation, no tactics, no shape. You know what? Win Gareth Southgate right now and get another manager and this team can do something. He has no clue, man. This guy's the most clueless manager in the world at the moment. I think you're spot on here. I mean, any other manager would do a better job than Gareth Southgate is doing right now. And I mean, it's just so frustrating. It's, uh, you know, it's very late at night uh, here in India and, you know, we are wasting our time. Just look at the first half. No intent, no nothing. And in the halftime, I don't know what Gareth Southgate did. I think Gareth Southgate just waved Probably the would players. Probably have changed and his waistcoat or something. Just waved the players and said, "Okay, good job, lads. Let's let's go into the second half." I mean, 
how can this you not know how to manage arrogance no no this is the arrogance of english managers and english football players where they walk into these games thinking that they're going to win no you walk into these games you know this is the exact same situation you have scoles lampard gerard rooney owen ferdinand sol campbell ledley king john terry ashley cole mika richards west brown you've got this you've got this roster of stars and still you think gareth barry is the lord savior and start him this is exactly what gareth southgate is doing he has absolutely no sense england you know what let them get knocked out i don't care if they're going to play football like this can you imagine what portugal is going to do to them can you imagine what france or belgium or italy are going to do to them i mean this really you you this is this is what i'm trying to say now it is scotland czech and croatia once the likes of france germany portugal came come even belgium come even the likes of sweden come england will be will be knocked out uh, i mean what is gareth southgate doing i don't understand what is he Nothing. doing changing waistcoats so you got it from us guys england and all star premier league team have just lost to a team that is basically assembled in the championship in scotland the likes of o'donnell and o'connell and o whatever you want to do have just won a point and they were by far the better team in my view Jim just before Sancho, we end just before we end i just want to say scott mctominay is a better center back than tyron mings no you know scott mctominay had a fabulous game and i mean i'm very happy for him he was i think the best player on the pitch today or one of the best at least but what are you going to say when jaden sancho didn't even see see a kick of the ball when they were nil all so what are you going to say he's so a right winger and he hasn't played well thanks for watching guys subscribe to the channel and hopefully raheem sterling will start one more game and we'll be able to watch his mastery once again